Oh, hey there. I'm Adrian, and I'm 17 years old. At first glance, I'm a teen like any other. But in reality, my life is not easy. Come, and I'll take you with me through one of my days. Repetition. Every day seems to be a repetition. I wake up. My brain tells me it's time to eat. But I... <sighs> I don't eat like others do. I have cereal like everyone else, milk like everyone else. I grab a bowl and a spoon like everyone else. So you may be wondering what's different about me. The thing that makes my routine differ from others is that I weigh my food. Every spoonful, every cereal flake, and every crumb. Every ounce of my food is weighed. That's when I ask myself, why does eating have to be so difficult? And so, bite by bite, I nourish my body. It may not be enough in the eyes of others. It may not be enough for my body to function properly. But for me, it's too much. On my way to school, before getting on the bus, something disturbing catches my eyes. Something ugly, something disgusting, hideous, sickening, horrendous. Well, it's my own reflection. From then on, I observe myself. Actually, no. I examine myself thoroughly. I examine in an obsessive manner all these imperfections that invade my face. Pimples, spots, scars. The list seems endless. Finally, I pull up my hoodie so that most of my face is hidden. I take the bus. In art school, during class, I'm bored and time passes by so slowly. Some of my classmates consider it to be hell, but not me. For me, hell is my own body. At lunchtime, I'm on my phone alone because I don't like it when people watch me eat. When I turn it on, a picture of an influencer pops up with his defined abs, broad shoulders, the perfect figure, and Far from mine. During school hours, instead of concentrating on the lectures, the entirety of my brain is overwhelmed by the picture I saw at break, and once back home, it consumes me. Thus, I analyze my body for the thousandth time. Unsatisfied, I go out for a run, and afterwards, I feel a bit better. It's almost the end of the day, so I go to bed. But instead of falling asleep, I ask myself, Am I the only one? Am I normal? Why do I suffer this much and why me? Will tomorrow be better? Or will it be, as always, a repetition? <laughs>